Hi, Mrs. Nita here with Hero Smart Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here with me. Hi. This is our listening and verbal training class, the last one of the year. Let's go ahead and open up with prayer. We'll get right into today's reading. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. And to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So our memory verse is Psalm 71, 8, and it goes like this. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Isn't that great? <laughs> Let's try again. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Psalm 71, 8. Wasn't David a great guy? He's just like, my mouth is filled with your praise. Is that how we all should be? We should just so we should just bubble. I mean, it should be so much word of God and so much love of God in our hearts that when we open our mouths, it just gushes out full of your praise. So anyways, it says, my mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Psalm 71, 8. Okay, let's try to do this phrase by phrase. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long my mouth is filled with your praise declaring your splendor all day long psalm 71 8. great job now let's try to channel this all in and without any props or script we're going to recite this are you ready my mouth is filled with your praise declaring your splendor all day long Psalm 71, 8. Let's try again. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Psalm 71, 8. One more time. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Psalm 71, 8. Good job. Do you like that memory verse? I do too. It just tells us what should be in our mouths. But the only thing that's going to come out of our mouths is what's in our hearts. <laughs> so you want to make sure that your heart toward God is good and that you have lots of good stuff about God in your heart and then and about others. And then when you speak, it'll just come out. It's just natural. It's like if you read a book and if it was a fascinating book, you're like, oh, this book was just so good. What are you going to do at your dinner table? You're going to sit down and tell everybody about your book. And I read this and I read that. Same thing with a movie. You sit down, you watch a movie, you become so full of the movie, maybe it evokes some emotion. I'm gonna just blah, 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 and the movie did this. Well, how much more important and valuable is it to be so full of love of God, and so full of his word, and so full of just an appreciation and gratitude for him, that when you open your mouth, it just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so it's good to be full of his praise. Thank you so much for having a for coming and being part of this being a part of this one year grade grade one English language arts curriculum. It's been a wonderful time having you all, just having your spirit here join me, working with me. You are a brilliant, wonderful, intelligent, smart, incredible child of the Most High God, and I know because you endured this entire thing for one full year. That's 180 lessons. That's an amazing job. Well done clap for yourself and by the way all of heaven is clapping for you too especially if during the course of this time you gave your life to the lord jesus christ who is the author and finisher of our faith thank you so much for joining me and for having a wonderful time with me i pray god's blessing over you and your family but until i see you again god bless i'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you worry.